Hi everyone, welcome to Interview with Makers, when we talk with creative and risk-taking people in our company. Today we're having Justyna Polacek, also known as Jason. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Justyna is a content writer right now in a partner program team. She's creator of Customer Service Report, a live chat ebook, starting a business in the online jungle, and uh, in general, a content creator in our company. Hi Justyna, nice to see you here. Oh, and nice to see you, Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? Ah, I'm great, thank you. It's snowing a lot. Yeah, it is. It's it's great weather to to talk. Mm -hmm. So let's just jump straight into the questions. Uh, could you please share your background? Of course, I can. So as you said, I'm Ustina, and I'm a content writer on or content marketer. Uh, if you like, uh, here at Live Chat for seventh year now. Yes. Wow. And I finished Polish philology at University of Wrocław and the course of advertising on University of Economics. And before a Live Chat, I used to work as a business analyst. And in my free time, I work as a photographer and a journalist on uh, Wrocław University of Technologies Radio, Luz. And you're still taking a lot of photos, correct? Yes, 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 yes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apart from photos, what you're making right now? Okay, but I will talk about photos. Great. So the first thing is that um, I write a lot, and both in my job and in my private life. And I'm not writing as much as I used to in my younger uh, years <laughs> because I simply don't have enough time to cover up all, all, all napkins around and um, but I, I spend a lot of time on writing down the new ideas or insights I have and uh, I think a lot so I have a lot to write about and so from time to time I write a story or two and uh, or even a poem however I'm not into poetry but I'm also a lot into photography. Uh, I take a lot of pictures. And since I don't earn money <laughs> on photography anymore and I don't need to uh, carry heavy camera on the iPhone, um, I like it much more than ever. So every day I try to take a picture, at least one photo, and <laughs> that's kind of easy because I'm living under Slemja and uh, <laughs> it's difficult not to take a good picture. So... Mm, I run an Instagram account that for nature pictures purpose only. And um, I also have a portfolio of pictures full of portraits and beauty shots. And one of my favorite projects I had was the Belladonna project. Um, I was asking my friends to pose for me because I was kind of sure I could make them look as beautiful as models on pictures on the covers of the, of the magazines. And um, the results were pretty stunning and it proved me right that women are just beautiful. And I like this, I like this project so much because I had to work with people and I had to take their inner beauty out. And mm -hmm. I made it and I, I really loved it. You mentioned like uh, two main project, one was taking photographs or this Belladonna project and the other one was writing uh, and you mentioned stories. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're writing, uh, who are you writing for? Is it only for yourself? It's like I am writing for myself because I feel the need to, um, to write down all those stories I have in my head. Mm -hmm. However, I would love it uh, to be read by people around. I remember when I was seven and I wrote my first book for my mom. She had a, she had a birthday and I thought that, of course, the greatest thing she can have is a book written by her daughter. So the book had like almost five pages and <laughs> half of it was like, it, it was this small and half yeah. of it were, were my drawings. And then I realized that from the fun I have, um, during like making something uh, there is also one great thing is when another person is watching it is reading it because mm -hmm. um, 
when I was thinking about it, I thought that I'm a Dr. Frankenstein and the audience is the lightning that gives life to my creation. Mm -hmm. And so why I mainly make for myself, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy when someone finds it valuable, what, what I created, because it, it lives in their mind a bit differently than in mine. Is this situation was the like a point in your in your life that made you start making and that made you start writing? No, not really. I just feel I, I just feel the need to write. I, I I was always good in writing. No, no, it's uh, it's not true. I wasn't good in writing. I, <laughs> I started to be good uh, in writing because I was writing for so many years. So I started when I was like five, six, seven, maybe, mm -hmm. and I never ended. And that made me a good writer. Do you have any next steps for the projects you mentioned? A couple of years ago, I felt the need to publish something. And I'm not talking, I'm, I'm talking about the private life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really difficult because uh, there are no many magazines that are uh, publishing like new authors. And it's really difficult to publish a book. And I got really stressed by that, that my, my writings or stories were rejected and uh, because I'm not known already. And mm -hmm. uh, so I said to myself that I will see what, what the future will bring. Especially that I don't really think that uh, I have something important to say yet. I'm still in the pro process of learning. Uh, my, mm, the way I see the world is still evolving mm -hmm. and when I know that is the time to, to write something and publish it, I will do it. Apart from your projects and jumping into like creating in general, how do you keep yourself making? How do you keep yourself creating or writing or mm -hmm. taking up a yeah. new projects? Well, I never thought I'm a, make, I'm a maker. And uh, I said to myself that, that first and foremost, I consider myself to be a learner. And I digest shitloads of books, articles, videos. I love new ideas. And as long as my brain is fueled, I have the power to make, to create. Mm -hmm. So I could say that making is a side effect of learning. And the more I read, the more I think. And the more I think, I want to try new things and like test new and, and test new things, like for example, new content format or in the kitchen, try a new recipe. Do you have any like reading regime or, or a process? Oh no, everything that comes to re regime or something makes me hate. hate, hate. <laughs> For example, do you know, uh, I started uh, my career as a business uh, analyst because I hated literature, reading and writing so much because it was just before, after I graduated from university. And I think mm -hmm. after finishing uh, my studies, I, I haven't read a book for like two years because I was so fed up. So my only regime is not to um, force myself to do anything. So, and thanks to that, I read <laughs> a lot, I think. <laughs> Do you feel like there's any skill or characteristics that is important for people that are creating or making? Open mind and ability to listen to others. That's something I learned uh, during last years. So uh, an example, when I started to work as a content writer, uh, I had the urge to prove that, that I'm right that the way I write is the best way, that uh, the ideas I have are the best ones, and um, that the, the way I see something is the best way, right? So, mm -hmm. and now I think it's common for people that don't just don't feel secure in their new position or just don't have enough experience. As I grew and as I gain experience and knowledge, I learned that the best way to grow further is by confronting your opinions with others so I realized that even though someone is not even a marketer as, as me as I am it doesn't mean that they don't have a great point when it comes to my project right so I learned that the more people will be able to speak up their minds the more valuable insights I get so open mind and ability to listen um, helps you tremendously uh, because thanks to listening to others your creations are just better 
So how it works with your process of creating, for example, a newsletter? I, I think about um, one theme I could uh, add to a particular newsletter. And then I find updates uh, that might be uh, might stick to this theme. But mm-hmm. then I send it to our private channel and ask people, what do they think about it? Do they have um, maybe a, a better idea? Uh, maybe they would add something or they think something just don't fit. And uh, we have a conversation about it. And if there are no uh, further <laughs> opinions, <laughs> I go with the, with the flow. However, I must say that sometimes I don't listen to them because I think that something will work better. However, I do keep in mind that uh, what, what they say or said and uh, in the future, I will surely remember about it. So it's, okay. uh, yeah, it's a growing process still. <laughs> So learning to others does not necessarily mean uh, going into their direction. Exactly. But it uh, it brings you value anyways. Any other advice for uh, for our makers in live chat? Yes. Uh, so the, the most important thing is that we all are makers. Like every person in the world is a maker. Because I think that uh, all processes... Uh, we perform in our lives from cooking to I don't know raising children it's it's really creative and mind-bending so we're all makers there are no exceptions and we all have a unique uh, set of knowledge that we have gained during years and the if there is one advice I would say is that let's exchange this knowledge. Don't, don't be afraid to share your knowledge with others, even if you, if you think that you don't have uh, enough qualifications to do that. Because thanks to that, uh, you allow others to learn from you and mm-hmm. you create environment where people are not afraid to speak up. So as long as we speak and exchange our ideas or insights, we, we, we create this environment and we grow and others around grow too. And that will make us uh, great makers in the end. Yeah, I totally agree. But I wanted to ask one additional question is how you make this happen in remote work. Because when we were in the office, there was a lot of occasion for uh for not scheduled meetings and we had many coffee talks about new ideas or someone just uh you met someone uh, in the hall and started a, a new project or or a new experiment how are you making sure you're sharing your ideas you're sharing your knowledge with others right now i think that the best place uh, for now is slack because uh, I, I don't feel comfortable uh, on video chats. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's not like real, <laughs> real, mm-hmm. real chat. And Slack, is, I think Slack is much more convenient. But yes, that, that's, that's a big problem what you mentioned. Because sometimes when you just uh, have a coffee in the kitchen and you just, uh, just have a small talk and then suddenly you exchange a really good <laughs> idea, right? Uh, so I didn't figure it out yet, but I do have a lot of uh, chit chats on Slack, and that helps <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. We'll see yeah. in the future. Thanks, uh, thanks, Justina, for for sharing your feedback You're and welcome. for sharing your story. If you have, any I'm waiting questions. for my check. <laughs> okay if you would like to support you Stena, just let us know but if you'd like to share your thoughts on how to keep knowledge sharing in remote work or have any questions uh, for Justina about her process just let us let us know in the in the threads uh thanks Justina, and have a great day bye thank you same to you